are ready, my king. Tell me, Zanakis, have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. <laughs> I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta!
We are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They are coming. <laughs> By dawn, he will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing. Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of you. Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Finally. Wow, this is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be... Just started, Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since you were last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. Let's take this one step at a time. Understood. If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. Give me as much information as you got. There's no way I'm going in there without some guidance. Glad to help. You can always change your mind later. Listen, Layla, before you go off... If this book is right, 
this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Irodotos was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. He will lead us down the right path, I'm sure. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come! The start of Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't gonna win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it! Oh, and Victoria? Read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Shit face! Get down here! Cyclops got a message for you. <clears throat> Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week! Pfft, Malaka! <sighs> the Cyclops said you like to act tough, so act tough! Get a little closer and I will. You should know by now. The Cyclops always collects his name. You have a lesson to learn. <sighs> Last week? <laughs> this shit happens every week. <sighs> I can't keep doing this. Nah. Thanks for the warning. Uh. What happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus will bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Alexios? Maybe you could ask him for me. I'll 
try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. <sighs> what does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. Wait, what? A vineyard? Malaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Where can I find Marcus's new... ...beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's south of that. Since when has he had the vineyard? Yesterday, I think. So... ...Marcos... ...who owes me drag me... ...is buying vineyards? With what money? I don't know. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <coughs> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. Fun's over. Tell that one-eyed freak, if he sends you here again, I'm going to cut his other eye out and feed it to my bird. I'll see Marcos as soon as I'm dressed. I'll have to go up top to get dressed. Get this on. That's what I get for sparing you. No manners. This is the vineyard, straight ahead.
There you are. Let's see what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. I keep telling you, you, you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant where I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Alexios, thank the gods. Phoebe found you in time. I can still hear you. I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's besides the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine. I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. Oh, it's that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sami. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sami, my friend. Who's the merchant? Zuris. You know Zuris. He's very nice. <laughs> Zuris. Again? Why do you keep lending him money? He's a loyal friend. I don't want his family to starve. You're a good friend, but you're bad with money. Where can I find Duris? In a shop in Sami, overlooking the docks. You know this, Alexios. Will he be there? You mistake me for the Pythia. I couldn't possibly know. How do you want to handle this one? Not like you handled that olive oil business. That was... Uh, that was too much. <laughs> I got the money. And now we'll never get any more from him. If you kill them all, nobody benefits. Threatening them and maybe more. Breaking things, certainly. Steal the money if you have to. But don't rob me of my customers. Unless you can't avoid it. These things happen. He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after, there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But... Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. me about this one. The Skiros. You have an eye for sturdy stock, my friend. That horse can cling to mountain passes like a goat. The one in the middle. Tell me about it. Ah, you have picked a beauty, my friend. That horse is from Thessalonia, bred for its courage. Huh. I like the look of the one on the right. Ah, the Macedonia. These are bred for battle, a true warrior's horse. I've made my choice. Which one will it be? The 
the one on the left. Ah, uh, a uh, uh, fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. Maybe I should have another look. Choose wisely. I'll take the one in the middle. Eh, uh, that one? Maybe I should have another look. Choose wisely. That one. On the right. Eh, uh, that one? This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because... I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, Efterpi. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe's been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Alexios. Come on, come on. There they are. I'll sneak up on the Malakas. Ella! Tighten those ropes. She'll make good ransom drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. <sighs> this tall grass will keep me hidden. The rest of those malakas get away. Who did that? Stop that noise, or I'll stop you. Marcos is going to be next. Get Phoebe out of here. Alexios, I'm here. Untie me. Are you all right? It wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth, so I'd stop biting. 
Phoebe, just be careful. You're alone now since... Since my parents died? I'm okay. I've got you and you've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? You'll have to be stronger than that. Don't give in! Let him have it! Got you. <laughs> Again. Up. Yes, Father. Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Ready or stop? Widen your stance. The soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Uh. Approach me. Ah! That's enough, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> Tonight. tonight we are having baby Cassandra, <laughs> and what a feast she will be! No, not her. Take me instead. I'm tasty. Yes, yes. You're all sweet as honey. Now come inside. The lamb's turning black. Yeah. Lay her in bed. Yes, Father. Alexios. greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Go. Right. You worry too much. <laughs> you don't worry enough. We'll be alright if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. What'd they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos, the mercenary. Oh, am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here! Talos the Stone Feast? That's just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that. Sami, Duris will be at the shop.
Come on. Best stay out of sight. Sami, Duris will be at his shop. if he wants his money, huh? Oh, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. You should have thought of that when you borrowed drachmi, Thuris. But my family... It's hot. I'm in a bad mood. And you're going to pay. We both know it. The question is, what do I break first? You or your merchandise? You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to 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 a mercenary or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. Malaka. Still. That doesn't change the drachmi you owe. Face it, once the Cyclops gets hold of you, you'll both be dead. <laughs> hey, stop! That's my stuff! <laughs> all right, all right. I'll pay you, just stop. Fine. The money's yours. Just leave. Pleasure doing business with you, Doris. Keep my name off your lips. I don't want the Cyclops coming after me for the debt you can't pay. Off we go now. Mighty Kefalus, I entreat you, send us a champion, 
Someone worthy of your mighty spear. Help your priestess in her hour of need. You called? <gasps> oh, Alexius. You startled me. Why are you looking for a champion? I need someone worthy to win the Spear of Kefalus. I've been deciphering some of the sanctuary stone carvings. They say the spear was hidden in the caves beneath Kefalonia when the temple was built. You could get it for me, couldn't you? I can give you a reward. If the spear is in the caves, I'll find it. Well, maybe you were sent by Kefalus. Why do you need a spear? Not thinking of becoming a soldier, are you? Of course not. But think how many people will come to the shrine if we have the Spear of Kefalus. With their donations, I could do so many things. Repair the sanctuary, feed the hungry families in Sami. I'll see what I can find. Oh, thank you. I'll prepare a spot in the sanctuary. <laughs> Off we go now. You're running out of time until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could I have an extension? When he sails back to Kefalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks, if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. You can't hide behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the drachmi. Good. Or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. Alexios, I can tell from the smile on your face, Duris has paid you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? We can get the money back, can't we? I'm sure it's possible. It'll take a lot of work. And even then, I'm not sure. We have no option but to try. Then you'd better be willing to help. I won't do all the dirty work. <sighs> I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world, Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand. Don't see fishes like you every day, eh? Huh? <laughs> oh! Ha! You hungry? How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You do a few things for me. Everybody wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Huh? Think about it. Wait! <laughs> a 
Cephalonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos. And look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets to a Mystheos with a Havel. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you. How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Skulking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can. Why, I was just filling my friend Alexios in on the details. He already has a plan to deal with these bandits. You know me, always prepared. What did I tell you? He will leave no stone unturned. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits. Today. A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Alexios, I've cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. If you want your wood, you'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. These balls will make me rich as Chrysos. They're that good, are they? War's brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to hold off the Spartans. Everybody benefits, I guess. Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small-time shit. You'd make a fortune in this war. Plus, I hear you're a secret Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. Hand it over. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies.
Let's go. Ella. This area will be well defended.
Come on. Alexios, have you come back to talk about the spear? I have. Oh, good. Tell me, did you find it? You mentioned a reward? Oh, of course. You've certainly earned it. Don't look so good. I angered them, I think. The gods. It's possible. I hear they can be vengeful. I used to worship Hermes at the Drorati cave. There are gods there too, you know. In the cave? They grant wishes if you bring them tribute. So everyone makes an offering and asks for something in return. Ah, no wishes of mine granted though. I'm running out of money and tribute. I'm poor myself, you know. I did something wrong. You know Hermes. He can be a trickster. Oh, but there are many gods in this cave. All asking for different things. Go hear him yourself. You'll get my last tribute if you do. I need to know if they're real. All right, don't worry. I'll go. Oh, thank you. Remember? Be careful where you step, Mystios. You'll be walking on holy ground. We'll see about that. Someone dropped offerings here. Looks like they were trying to carry them away behind the statue. There's a draft here. A crack in the wall. I should watch my step around here.
Jason? No. Who's whistling? And it's all along. People should have known something was off. And here's all their loot. Sami, 
I wonder if we'll be able to leave without getting into a brawl. <laughs> Who am I kidding? This place never changes. Fair is fair. Are you going to get my wood? Those fucking bandits need a thrashing. Fair is fair. I'll fix your wood problem. Finally! Marcos sure is lucky he's got you as a scapegoat. Any idea where these bandits are? I'm not a tracker, I'm a boyer. They're in the mountains somewhere, that much I know. I'd check close to the lumber camps. There's plenty of trees around. Why do you need this type of wood? I've been working on a new type of bow. It's more flexible, so it lasts longer and can fire at greater range. Only a very special kind of wood that grows high in the mountains will do. I'll take care of the bandits. Make sure that you do, and be quick about it. I'll deal with these bandits and get you the wood you need as fast as I can. Have patience. It won't take long. Ha! <laughs> if you knew how long Marcos has been feeding me excuses, you wouldn't be saying that. All right, I did something for you. Now you do something for me. Get my wood! No gods in the caves, only bandits stealing people's hopes and drag me. <gasps> I knew it! Thieves! At least you know you won't face Zeus's wrath. Maybe he'll take pity on you. I hope Zeus bring his wrath on those bandits. Don't worry, I brought mine. That should be good enough.
Come on. Ella. Off we go. Ella.
cart was emptied, then left behind. The thief can't have gotten far with that much cargo. That's a lot of footprints. A group left this area, headed west. Let's go. Hey, hey. Off we go now. Shot in the back while fleeing. Must be the work of bandits. Ella. Come on. That must be the bandit camp I'm looking for. Off we go now. to sneak up on them. The watch will be vigilant here. That's odd. I should go look. What? <clears throat> business. Oh! 
to kill you. I'd better take some lumber back as proof. That old bag won't just take my word for it. Oh, look, it's Marcus's mighty champion. <laughs> Don't tell me you actually did what I asked. I tracked the bandits and sent them to Addis. Your wood should arrive in town soon. And you expect me to believe the word of a mercenary? I didn't expect you to believe me, so I brought this. Here's your proof. A sample of the special wood you want so badly. These bows you're making had better be worthy of Apollo for all the trouble I've come to. By the gods! You sure you work with Marcos? He's never once delivered on a promise. Incredible. I might work with him, but we're nothing alike. I'm true to my word. Then take your pay. Give none to Marcos.
dizer. Ah, here you are, and not a moment too soon. I've dealt with the bandits and gotten the wood for the boyer. I had every confidence in you, my friend. Well, your plan? Right. The Cyclops and I have a score of drag me to settle. The same score as you, my rough and tumble friend. He wouldn't be after me if it wasn't for you, my friend. <laughs> eh, right. But I swear, this will put an end to it. If he insists on sending his goons after us, we'll make sure his last good day was yesterday. Let's hear it then. What do I have to do? What will we do, you mean? As the brains to your brawn, I consider it a joint effort. <sighs> of course you do. Think, what does the Cyclops value most? His men? His land? His ships? No, his obsidian eye. Get to the point, Marcos. Oh, fine. We're going to steal it. Are you crazy? You borrow his rachmi, then you steal his eye? Having it means we win. Then it goes to market. We kill two birds with one obsidian eye. <laughs> He'd better hold still. Or he'll lose both eyes. No, no! It has to be done without the Cyclops knowing. You cannot be seen. Then my new bow will come in handy. He keeps the eye in his house. It's too valuable to wear out. A wise choice until you show him the error of his ways. Wait for the sun to set, sneak in, and then bring me the eye. I don't know where the Cyclops lives. Keep to the west side of the island. There you will find his lair. Better be worth something. Do you know how much obsidian goes for in Kefalonia? I've never seen it. Exactly. And not only is it obsidian, it's veined with gold. Gold! It's no wonder he saves it for special occasions. So we'll use the profits to pay him off. It will pay for the bulk of it. A vineyard's expensive, you know. Fine. But you won't get away with being cheap. Cheap? You wound me, Alexios. It's your defining trait. Bring me the eye and I'll prove you wrong. Remember, not a soul can see you. Got it. Pull this off and our heads won't be the Cyclops' trophies when he comes back. Now to find the eye. If it's as valuable as Marcos says, it'll be hidden. Come on. Hello, I. I see you. Come on. By Zeus, the Cyclops doesn't mess around. Yeah.
cover. If I'm quiet, I can hide in the bushes. Malaka. Must be some eye to have that much protection. I have to stay out of view. Is someone trying to get my attention? Something's out there. Nothing to worry about. Sounds human. Better check it out. Hmm? Well, I should see what that was. Wait! 
By the gods, what's happened here? Hey! Ella. Come on. How'd it go with Marcos? How it always goes. I didn't get my money, and I'm running another errand for him. Why do you let him boss you around? I owe him a debt from the past. Oh, did you borrow Vrachni? Not that kind of debt. Few people would take in a runaway they caught thieving. I was just a kid. Huh. I'm just a kid, and I've done pretty good for myself. What do you want, Phoebe? You know Kausos? The town on the other side of the island. Why? People there are sick. And my friend Kina is too. There is a blood fever. They say it's a curse and they need help from the gods. I told you, I'm not a god. But Icaros... ...is a bird. That doesn't mean you can't help. Ah, oh, All right. I'll look into it. I should take care of that. Be careful! Do you know how many of his guards were there? Considering how many showed up here? Yes! What did I say about being seen? At least you taught them a lesson. All for a fucking rock. This rock could buy a house, my friend. And yet, it's still not enough to pay back the Cyclops. Oh, don't be upset. Think of all the fun we've had. The Cyclops is going to kill us, Marcos. It's as simple as that. And there's nothing fun about it. This will work, I promise you. Would I lie to you? Don't make me answer that. Take the eye, but don't sell it yet. No vendor would believe we came by it lawfully. They know exactly who it belongs to. Fine. Better your pocket than his socket. I think that's enough for one day. Here, Marcos. Uh, wait, I saw a boat. One I've never seen before. So? The vessel's too good for this dirty town. It must be the Cyclops, and he brought friends. He's back. Ugh, I can never catch a break, can I? Take them out, and that's one less thing to deal with. Besides, these strangers look rich as Chrysos. The Cyclops pays them well. It's win-win, my friend. It can't hurt. What do I have to lose? You? 
You're a winner if I ever saw one. Then where are they? In an abandoned house on the eastern coast. Who knows what golden fortunes shine in their hideout? Send them to Hades, then loot them for all they have. We'll be rich! The eastern coast. Can you be more specific? I think they've settled in an abandoned house. By a small forest south of Sami. So, if these visitors aren't from Kefalonia, where did they come from? All I know is Kefalonia will be the last place they'll ever see. I'm keeping some of these golden fortunes, though. No negotiations. Not even a drachme for the man who sent you? The rest goes to pay your debt. These are my terms. Oh, fine, fine. Now teach those strangers what it means to be Kefalonian. Draw blood or bleed. Ella. Oh. If the gods won't help you, this sickness must be destroyed by our hands. We have no choice. Help us! He won't let us go. What's going on? Kausos was consumed by plague. We couldn't keep up with the bodies. It was spreading. We had to intervene. They killed our brothers, our neighbors. We survived the massacre, but he'll kill us now. The gods have abandoned us. The sick must join the dead if we are to save the living. Is there no hope for a cure? Nothing has worked. Sacrifice, prayers. Healers won't come near us. Soldiers won't let us leave. The gods won't answer our prayers. You burned the whole village? Many knights were lost praying. We had to take action. To scorch the blood fever out of Gaussos. But I don't know anything about the plague. <sighs> there is nothing you can do. No! If you intervene... I will be forced to defend the gods' wills. Save us from him! Have pity! We aren't even that sick! We'll get better! Nobody gets better! 
This is the only way all of Kefalonia will save itself from extermination. Please! We have children! Think of them! Don't regret stopping here, Mistios. Let them go. What? You're no god. came from the underworld, some man of the gods. <sighs> the real gods sent you. Time to go. We're well enough to travel, but need healing. Before you go, take my drachmi. It can't pay for what you gave us, but it's all we have. Forget about that. Just travel safely. You're a gift from the gods, Eagle Bear. I hope they bless you. Bye, Kina. Be safe. Come on. Abandoned house and the people. Let's go. Keep a sharp watch here. Yeah! <laughs> 
one's come before. Normally have someone else do the field work. I don't suppose you know how to get this stain out. It comes with the territory. Then you're just the mysterious I'm looking for. A clean slaughter. Very good work. Not much sympathy for the men who work with you. Not with me. For me. Employees. Now ex-employees, I suppose. So you don't work for the Cyclops? Your kind aren't usually believers of myth. Not the monster. The man! You are an outsider. Why are you here? Indeed, I'm not from Kefalonia. I'm here because what I'm looking for is... If you'll follow me, Alexios... How do you know my name? I'm Elpinor of Kira. How do I know your name? I did what you did. I asked and people told me. Tell me who sent you. An inquisitive nature. Good. That will help. You know more than you let on. Knowing you is in my best interest. And knowing me is in yours. My prized possession was stolen and brought to Ithaca. Nelope's woven shroud. I need you to steal it back. Ithaca's not a small island. I need more information. I'd start at the home of Odysseus. Well, what's left of it? An inspiring tale. A reunion of past lovers. All right. I'll do it. Don't expect it to be easy. That's why it will cost you. Then it's agreed. There's a rowboat in the harbor. Use it. It's not meant for open water, so be wise. When you have the shroud, meet me in the Temple of Zeus. I will. Oh, and Mystius. Don't fail. into the house of Odysseus, tiny boat. Let's try not to piss Poseidon off, shall we?
The legendary shroud. Elpinor wasn't lying. the years I've lived on Kefalonia, I never realized the mighty Odysseus' palace was here. Where did that come from? Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Let's get out. Can you fight? Now hold sway. My thanks. I can't believe I let those Malakes sneak up on me. Ithaca is a dangerous place to wander around on your own. You are wandering around on your own. <sighs> You're right. I can't fight a camp of bandits by myself. Could you help me to get to Odysseus's palace? I can pay. I'll help you get to the palace. Well, I'm in luck then. What do I call you? Alexios? I'm Odessa. Named after the great Odysseus. Why would you want to go up there? I am a descendant of Odysseus. I'm on a pilgrimage. You're a descendant of the former king of Ithaca. I'm the man who created the Trojan horse and defeated the Cyclops. The one who traveled to the land of the Lotus Eaters. The one the Odyssey is about? Yes. I am. Why? You're not the first who said that, is all? Well, I trust I don't need to prove my lineage to get up to the palace. We should head to the palace while we have the chance. I need to stay hidden. Is it? It's just rubble. What were you expecting? I don't know. Something more grand. My parents named me Odessa. I'm Odysseus's namesake. I thought if I came here, I might understand him more. Well, 
Do you? Not at all. Take me to my boat. I'll pay you there. This is for you. Such a disappointment. Why is that place so important to you? Are you joking? Odysseus lived there. Ruled there. He ended the Trojan War. Eluded Scylla and Charybdis. He had everything. Loyalty, love, fighting spirit. He had the attention of the gods, too. That caused him a lot of trouble. And it made him a legend. cute right now, as if nothing can get in your way. I don't usually like being called cute. In time, you'll learn to love all the things I have to tell you. You seem so certain. I've had lots of success in the past. I'm sure you have. So, what do you think? I think I was in a much poorer mood before now. There's just so much I desire. To be as great as Odysseus, where do I even begin? Odysseus didn't want to go to war. And once it was over, it took him ten years to get home. He wasted years of his life, all because the gods interfered. Stay home. Spend time with your family. Live your own life. But who will remember my story then? Would you rather be remembered? Or happy. Hmm. I'll have to give that some thought. Thank you.
What's that? down this bounty, Talos. Alexios, good news, I hope. Safe and sound. Well done. And now the shroud is yours. You don't want it? After all that? I gained something more valuable today. For your troubles, Mistheus. If I knew any better, I'd think you were testing me. Perhaps. You did well, Mistyos. Tell me, how do you feel about killing a general in Megaris? Do this for me and earn double what you earned today. Are you up to the task? It would take you far away from Kefalonia. So far away you might never return. Generals bleed like anyone else. Good. What do you say? Who is this general? They call him the Wolf. He do something to offend you? Yes. He's costing me Drachmi. He's not good for business. Why me? Because no one knows who you are. You're invisible. I accept. Splendid. You'll need a boat. You have one, don't you? If I had a boat, we wouldn't be having this conversation. A shame. It's too far of a swim, I'm afraid. Even for you. I'll find one. Good. I hope it's sturdy. And why is that? The seas are much more dangerous, I'm afraid. War is coming. And the wolf is on the wrong side. War? With who? The entire Greek world is at each other's throats. What rock have you been hiding under exactly? Kefalonia. And how do I know you're on the right side? Because I'm the one paying you. You won't be disappointed. When your job in Megaris is done, come find me at Pilgrim's Landing in Fokis. I need a boat. 
I should go see the shipbuilder. It's a fine ship, Telemenes. Alexios! She is that. Ready to ride the waves for the right captain and the right price. What will it take for you to part with her? <laughs> Couldn't let her go for less than 100,000. 100,000? Who has that much? Someone who's serious about buying a ship. You think craftsmanship like this is given away? What if I told you I had obsidian to trade? I tell you I still need 100,000 drachmi. Besides, even if I took your obsidian, a ship this size needs an army to sail it. This is Kefalonia. I could always find someone down on their luck and willing to work for next to nothing to get off this island. The seas are treacherous now. Well, more than usual. It would be suicide. You're not being very helpful, Telemenes. Not sure if this helps. But rumor has it the Cyclops is coming for you and Marcos. Malaka. How is that helpful? That monster held Kefalonia captive for too long. I figure if anyone could finally rid us of his stents, it would be you. Telemenes, what does this have to do with my need for a boat? Rumor also has it the Cyclops has docked his ship in Kleptus Bay. His ship, you say? I'll have to pay Kleptus Bay a visit. Be careful. That one-eyed brute has a nasty temper. So I can take his ship and deal with the Cyclops at the same time. Two birds, one stone. <laughs> Oh, 
Come on! The Cyclops. Time to have a little chat. <laughs> they won't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight. Nice village, but now it's just a nest of anarchy and crime. Oh, the gods as my witness, I swear! Which one? What difference does it make? <laughs> all of them, I swear, all of them! I have never heard. So much fucking god talk from one man in all my days! <gasps> Let him go. No one on this island is allowed to say that word! Did he say Cyclops? Did it hurt your feelings? I don't like it when people call me that! Um, oh, I didn't. I... <gasps> but you're so fat. I mean, big, strong, and you really do only have... Give it to me. Give it to me, and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it! Give it to me! You want it? <laughs> Go get it. Not all so bad. Oh, no. 
die before you bleed all over. Yeah. Yeah. Laka, you just don't know when to die. Just die before you bleed all over. shouldn't delay here any further. Even rats like these have friends on Kefalonia. By Zeus, these Kefalonian bandits are no joke. Good thing you're on my side. They really seem to fear you. I can't repay you. And thank you enough. After spending most of my life at sea, it would have been absolutely shameful to drown in a pot. Ah, where are my manners? I am Varnavas, captain of the Adrestia. Well, Varnavas, pleased to meet you. I'm Alexios, Mystios by trade. <laughs> oh, but you're much more than that, I'm sure. What do you mean? When they forced my head underwater, I prayed to the gods. And when they pulled it out, there you were! You called, and I answered. Many claim to have blood of the gods in their veins. You're the first, I actually believe. Where do you come from? Everywhere, nowhere. The Adrestia is my home, but I was born in an olive grove in Mykonos. I haven't stepped foot there since I left for the military. So you're a soldier? I was. My brothers and I were captains in the Athenian fleet. Until one night during a siege, Poseidon's fury destroyed our ships. That was the night I saw it. It? What did you see? 
the sea god commands more than just the winds and the waves when he truly unleashes his temper. I saw his beast, his murderous pet. Few believe me, but this dead eye is a permanent reminder. Punishment for looking on Poseidon's forbidden creature and living to tell the tale. So why were those men attacking you? Oh, you know the people here. No offense. I tell them a tale of my last voyage, and the next thing I know, they're acting like a bunch of savages. What tale could you tell that would make them so angry? My last voyage, we found a man floating alone on a raft. Before he passed, he told us a tale to make your blood run cold. Something about a horrifying creature, ugly beyond description. I mentioned the words, one-eyed monster. Next thing I know, I'm drowning in a clay pot. Yes, the Cyclops tends to take that personally. So, you have a ship? Of course. Gods forbid I'd end up stuck in this place. Where is it now? Thanks to you, it's still in Sami Harbor, where I left it. Perhaps the fates brought us together after all. I'm in need of a ship and a crew. <laughs> you saved my life! It would disgust the gods to not offer it in return! So, that's a yes? My ship, my crew, and my services are yours. You truly aren't from around here. Ha <laughs> ha! Gods, no! And I thank them for that! Come now and see the Adrestia! We are ready when you are, Captain. Wait! Wait for me, Alexios. I'm all packed and everything. You're coming, are you? If you're going, I'm going. Kefalonia is the only place you've ever known. You'd leave your home. I would if it meant staying with you. You can't go where I'm going. I need to be alone. Who's going to keep you company? I'll be fine. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Mater gave her to me. But she'll be your friend now. And it'll be like I'm there with you. You know, to remind you of me. Thanks, Phoebe. Besides, I love Kina to play with, since you saved her. Go easy on her. She may still be shaky with the fever. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. It's up to the fates, but I'd like to. The fates know we're best friends, Alexios. They'll make sure we meet again. If you say so. I say so. Alexios! 
Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. Goodbye, Marcos. All these years as a dynamic duo! I'll never replace you! Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug. <sighs> All right, come here. Yes, bring it in. Oh, will I ever miss you, Alexios? Thanks, Marcos. I'll miss you too. And what does the future hold for you? Wine, of course. Though you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. Speaking of adventure, I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes! Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? Ready to set sail? Prepare to cast off. It's time to leave. Good! The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. So, what course do we set? Where in this big, beautiful world does the mighty Alexios want to go? Megaris. <laughs> Megaris? But we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for some general's head. Whose head? They call him the Wolf. The Wolf? Who wants Nikolaos of Sparta dead? Nikolaos of Sparta? Get me to Megaris. Now. But I don't understand. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? The wolf of Sparta is my father.
Nothing like a sea breeze. Does the deck always feel like it's moving? <laughs> I've got the perfect opportunity for you to get your sea legs. Oh? What would that be? Well, when the Cyclops was giving me a drumming, his pirates took my cargo. I know their ship, and I know where they're heading. What say we get it back? Sure. It'll be a good opportunity to see how your ship and crew perform. All right there. Let's get moving. Let's see how the sails are held up. Commander on board. More speed. There's some debris in the water. are more dangerous now that Sparta and Athens are at each other's throats. We need new recruits to better our crew. I know where to start. The best archer I know. He'd be a valuable asset. When can we meet him? Well, you're going to have to persuade him. What do you mean? You get him aboard and I'll talk him into it. A little drachmi should sweeten the deal. So you want me to knock him out? No, no. Well, maybe just pacify him a little, then get him to the ship so we can have a little talk. Everything will be fine, I promise you.
Send Icarus up to get the lay of the land. He'll spot my target. That's my target.
could use someone with your strength. Join my crew. You'll make a worthy addition to the crew. be a valuable asset to the crew. Will he be enough? Don't worry. There'll be plenty of opportunities to recruit more people as we go. Something tells me we're going to need them. We should set a course for Megaris. A long voyage can be relaxing, but we are not really the cruising type. If you want to spice things up a bit, you can always check my log over there. I make a note of anything I hear that could be of interest to a daring captain. Get ready to set sail! Nice to see you, Commander! Faster! 
commander's return. Let's 
see how the Athenian dog Pericles fears you. He cowers in his Parthenon, surrounded by playwrights and sophists. He dares not face you with honor on the battlefield. He knows you are too strong. He knows Athens' days in Margolis are numbered. And he knows Athens is next! You, you destroyed the Athenian blockade. They were in my way. Sparta owes you thanks. Dichi has blessed you, my friend. You arrived in time to watch my pater achieve a glorious victory. I heard his children died in Sparta many years ago. He adopted me into his household after his previous family failed him. I would never bring dishonor to him. Sometimes things happen in a way that you don't plan or expect. History has a way of remembering things strangely. You talk as if you were there. Maybe I was. Nonsense. You're too young to have witnessed such things. But enough of the past, let's discuss the future. What is a mercenary doing sailing into a war they aren't being paid to fight in? Tell me why you're really here before I cut you down for wasting my time. It's my honor to serve Sparta. I've come to pledge my sword to the wolf of Sparta. If you wish to pledge your services to my pater, you can do so by helping me. The fleet might be destroyed, but Megaris is firmly in Athenian control. We need to weaken their position if we are to take to the field and drive them back to Athens. How goes the war effort? The Athenian blockade was a desperate attempt to stop our advance through Megaris. Now, we can prepare to drive them from this region once and for all. Our forward scouts are identifying key targets in preparation for our assault. Under the Wolf's command, we shall be victorious. Your father, who is he exactly? Nikolaos, the Wolf of Sparta. He was impressed with my skill when I was a boy, and took me under his wing. He trained me himself, and eventually adopted me into his house. He is my father and mentor. I live to make him proud. Surely you've heard of him. Just rumors, really. I doubt they do him justice. He is a great warrior, and a greater general. I would follow him to the gates of the underworld. Why do you need a mercenary to do that? You seem to have plenty of soldiers at your disposal. It's not a question of manpower. The Megarians are our allies. We do not want to commit troops until we know victory is assured. My scouts are already locating key targets that we can hit. I'm ready to serve. Together, we will ensure that Sparta is victorious. You're a different kind of Mystheus, aren't you? You're just what we need to help deal with that meddling Athenian mercenary. If we can draw the leader out and eliminate him, we will crush the Athenians on the battlefield and drive their forces all the way back to Athens, destroying their supplies, stealing their war chest, and killing their elite troops should leave him vulnerable. Take this and present it to my scouts. If you find them in the field, be sure to check for new information. They might also have need of your skills. Where is the Athenian leader? He is in Megara, hiding behind stone walls and a full garrison of troops. But if you kill his troops, destroy his supplies, and steal his riches, then he'll be open to attack. What supplies should I destroy? Anything the Athenians need. 
Look for crates of supplies and weapons. The port of Nicaea and the valley of King Lelech would be a good place to start. It's where their supplies come into the region. This chest you want me to steal, why is it so important? An army is made of men that need pain. Take away the Drachmi, and they lose all the will to die for other men's ambitions. The Athenians keep their treasure well guarded in the fort at the foot of Mount Yerania. I think I know what must be done. Remember, every Athenian soldier you eliminate will also help us achieve victory. And once I've brought the Athenians to their knees for Sparta, I'll get that meeting with Nicolaus. Or you'll be next. Send those Athenian dogs to Hades, Nistios. Do this, and the wolf will personally see to it that you are rewarded. If I want to get close to the wolf, I'll have to help Stentor defeat the Athenians. I shouldn't waste any time. Could be one of Stentor's scouts. Looks like I'll he's run into some problems. Responsible. What happened here? What business is it of yours, Mistios? Do you know anything about this? I'm a professional. And a friend. But what's that supposed to mean? If it had been me, I'd have been smart enough to try and hide the evidence. <laughs> Fair point. Whoever did this was brazen and foolish. ...leaving it to be so easily discovered. Or they wanted to send a message. Stentor sent me. I'm here to help wherever I can. Stentor sent you? Sparta doesn't fully control Megaris. Yet. It's easier for me to move freely in certain areas of Megaris than a Spartan. The Athenians have proven more resilient here than expected. But they will Before not Before Sparta, yes. I've heard the speeches. But until that glorious day comes... We should find out what happened here. Do you have any ideas? Not yet, but I will. I should get a closer look to figure out what happened here. The supplies are missing. They can't have gone far, though. They didn't use the carts. Looks like they went this way into the forest. These were professional soldiers, slaughtered to a man. 
I don't think bandits could have done this. I don't think I'll find anything else. I should report back. So, was it the Athenians? I found some fragments of a green crystal. Bandits, then. The mountains here are riddled with caves, and the war has made them brazen. If it was Athenians, they would have taken the carts as well as the supplies. And bandits? They wouldn't have stood a chance against trained Spartans. What are you saying? I'm not sure. Whoever did this went into the forest. So I'll start by looking there. There they are. There's food being cooked near here. <laughs> Is this a private gathering? Or can anyone join? What? What are you? Please? Please just leave. You don't look like murderers. Was that the Spartans' mistake? What? Wait! No! Please! You don't understand! What's to understand? It all seems perfectly clear. Please! Let me plead our case! You'd better tell me why I shouldn't just kill you and return the goods. Please! I'll tell you anything you want to know. You're the sorriest band of thieves I've ever seen. By the gods, no! We're citizens of Megara! Please, show mercy! This war has already cost us dearly. Like the mercy you showed those Spartan soldiers? I... we... we just took some food. Irkanos told us to take it, said he'd make it easy for us. Irkanos? Yes, the mercenary. He said he'd provide food. Told us the Athenians would never let their people go hungry. Explain yourselves. It's not wise to anger the Spartans. Please, we're not thieves. This is our food, our crops. They took it, left us with nothing. Our children are starving. So you repay theft with murder. A fine lesson for your children. <laughs> murder! No! Please, we never harmed anyone. Uh, Mistyos told us where to find the food. Everyone was already dead. Enough! I didn't come here for a debate. It's too late for talk now. I came to find who's behind this crime against Sparta. Stand aside. You don't need to die today. 
I'm returning the supplies to the Spartans. Then you will do so over our dead bodies. Don't be stupid. Take some food, enough to get by. I'll say I killed you and claimed what was left. They will be satisfied. But the food? What of our families? Your families will not benefit from your death. Accept my offer and don't steal again. It won't be me who comes for you next time. Yes, Miss Theos. Thank you. Hurry, take what you can carry and go, quick. Thank the gods they didn't try to fight. I wasn't in the mood to kill starving civilians today. find the ones responsible. I found your supplies with a bunch of hungry Megarians. And? You stole that food from them. They were starving. The supplies were essential for the war and ridding Megara of the Athenians. Hungry Megarians are the least of your worries. But there's something else. Have you heard of the mercenary called Irkanos? Irkanos? Yes, he's working for the Athenians. So the rumors go. This is all he's doing. These mercenaries are persistent. I'll give them that. You've done well here. But if you really want to help Sparta, I have a task for you. What did you have in mind? Hunt him down. Show him that no mercenary dog will interfere with Sparta's plans. Since you have such a high opinion of mercenaries, why even send me? I'm sorry. It's just this man Irkanos is like a thorn in our foot. He's a menace to all Spartans here. Please, will you help us? I'll do it. If he's this much trouble, I take it there's a sizable reward? Of course. Just think of how much he'll have on him with all the drachmi Athens has given him to thwart our plans. I suppose you're right. Any idea where to start looking? He could be anywhere. Most likely, he's nestled up close to the Athenians. We've sent out a couple of patrols, but they never returned. And we can't spare any more men at this time. Fortunately, I'm not just any man. So this is what war looks like. Not what the stories make it out to be.
capital, Megara. If the leader's anywhere, he'll be here. Alexios, I haven't seen you since you took me to the ruins of Odysseus. Odessa, you remember? Of course I do. You told me to stay home with my family. Seems like you're doing that. Not by choice. You asked if I wanted to be remembered or to be happy. Well, taking care of my sick father does not make me happy. No wonder you're upset. You want to be out exploring, but you're stuck here instead. I'm glad somebody gets it. If you don't like it, do something about it. Not until my father is better. I need to get a couple of things for him. Maybe you could help me. Don't worry. I'm here to help. What do you need? A few herbs from the Valley of King Lelech nearby. Also need a mixture from the market to combine with the herbs. There's a merchant there holding onto it for me. Is your father really so sick you can't get him yourself? I'm his only child. I'd rather be close by, in case he gets worse. Do you know what's wrong with him? No, only that he's not getting better. The mixture and herbs I need may help with the pain, at least. If he dies, all his land will be yours, right? Yes, but I'd sell it anyway. What better reason to leave everything behind and truly begin my quest? like Odysseus. Stay by your father. I'll be back with the herbs and the mixture. Those are the herbs Odessa needs. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. That merchant should be the one who does a merchant. <laughs> tell your friends, tell your family, the best wares Drachmi can buy. Even mercenaries like you can find something. Odessa sent me. Ah, of course. Sweet girl, I wish she had stopped by herself. This is for her father, I imagine? I'll take the payment and you can be on your way. Here, take it. Quick sales are my favorites. I hope this helps Odessa. Let's go. Come on! work for the leader of Megaris. Seems like Odessa's been causing some problems for them. And they're also after her father's estate. Are the herbs a mixture okay? You did get them, didn't you? That's what you're worried about. We were just attacked. Surely you should be used to that by now. Random bandits litter these lands. What did that letter you were reading say? That they were after you and only you, not me. I can't believe it. Looks like it deals with your father's estate. They probably want you and him both gone so they can take it. I could have died without making a name for myself. I'd never be worth anything at all. I won't let anyone hurt that face. No pain. No glory. How about you take me inside and show me a little pain? Oh, how I would love to do so. But this news... Someone aims to kill me. How could we possibly ignore such a thing for pleasure? 
Then where does that leave us? With a task at hand, clearly. Think what you must, but I can prove the truth to you. I just need your help. I'm not surprised. I'll let you know if you can have it. Are you ready to find the whole truth of what's going on? Always. I knew you would. You already believe they're after me, and you're right. I want to have proof in my hand saying why. The truth always comes out. It will. And then I can finally follow in the footsteps of Odysseus. So long as your search for glory never ends, your name will be remembered. Perhaps they'll sing your name as well in the songs they write about me. If you want to find the truth, we need a clue. What about the notes you found? From the leader of Megaris. He's planning something. If there's proof he's after you, it would be at his home. I could check. You would do that for me? I'll find the proof you need. Good. I want this whole thing to be over. Do you have any idea what I'm looking for? The leader is the most powerful man in Megaris. I can't accuse him of anything unless I have proof that he's after me. Let's say I do find the truth you're looking for. What next? Then I'd tell everyone who would listen. The leader wouldn't dare kill me or my father once everyone knows their plans. I'll be back with proof, whatever it may be. I should head to the leader's house to find out what's going on. Let's ride! <laughs> hey! That's the place. Any proof to be found should be there. I need to be careful. This place is heavily guarded. I should be extra careful in this area.
One of Odessa's suitors died mysteriously, shortly after meeting her. This letter mentions Odessa's estate, and how crucial it is that they get it. By any means necessary. They'll be on high alert here.
The leader of Megaris tried arranging a marriage for Odessa. Sounds like an easy way to get her father's estate. This letter claims that Odessa hired other mercenaries. I wonder why. I think I have enough to go on. I should return to Odessa. The leader of Megaris is after Odessa's estate, and he's tried arranging a marriage for her to take control of it after her father dies. But these letters also claim one of her suitors was killed, and nobody's sure how. Though she's been known to hire other mercenaries, it's difficult to tell if Odessa is in the wrong or not. You've returned. I hope with good news. I'm not sure if it's good or not yet. There were two pieces of proof I found that they're after you. Perfect. What were the reasons? One was due to your family's wealth. The other had to do with an arranged marriage. That's plenty of proof showing I'm the victim here. A man you were meant to marry was killed suddenly. I... He was probably killed by the same people who want to kill me. You've hired other mercenaries. Oh, just for odd jobs here and there. There's always something to be done that could use one. After everything I found, I know what's going on. And what's that? You don't deserve any of this. You're only trying to live your life. Of course I am. I've done nothing wrong. I just want to have a healthy father and to start my journey. Don't worry. You will soon. My life is being wasted standing around here. A lot can happen in a small amount of time. Trust me. So that's it then. I guess there's nothing else to do. It doesn't have to be goodbye. Why not join my crew? Hmm. Well, you were always on my side. Plus, getting away from here would be nice. Great. What about your father? He's been feeling a lot better, thanks to you. You aren't worried someone will come after him? I'll be sure to share the information you found with a few people. They won't touch him so long as we have it. Then I'm happy to have you aboard.
Bella. Hey, hey. 